Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you guys how I, um, I guess, mass produce my paper rosettes, my smaller ones, um, and without using a digestive scoreboard. So this paper is eight and a half by eleven, and um, whether you score it on the eight and a half side or the eleven side, it's fine. Um, just it's by quarter inch so every quarter inch and i do do it like this on a large sheet because it's so much easier than cutting your scripts or strips and then scoring the tiny strips like so it just made way more sense um to do it this way and you know it's great to um not have to use a die or anything this is like a zero waste um rosette sorry i just got a text and i was just looking um yeah so i'm just going through this is not my favorite scoreboard but um i just had it there and i grabbed it and i'm putting that one away to use a different paper trimmer my Fiskars one because I much prefer that one. Um, and I'm just sharing right now that you guys need to trim the paper so that the score lines are vertical because later on, I'm just trimming here, you'll see that um, when you do your accordion fold, yeah, like if you, tr if you score the other way, it's not going to work. So lines have to be vertical. And I did do um, both orientations of this paper. I thought it was super cute. This was from like an Easter pad from Recollections, Michaels. So you got all your strips there. And then now you're going to, this is the most tedious out of the, all the steps is this accordion folding. And excuse my nails. I'm so sorry. So I did them like I kind of just painted them the other day and then of course I decide that same day I'm going to go do housework and all this stuff so my nails are ratchet but um so I yeah I figure now is a better time to just uh craft and you'll see yeah like there's no well there is I was gonna say there's no easy way but there is either you can use a die or um I know Fisk no not Fiskers sorry uh cane company they've got like that crimper I need to get my hands on one of those I've seen a lot of ladies like haul them and pick them up even for finding them at garage sales um thrift stores and stuff here's a picture of my son so after I did them he you want to keep the you want to keep them all crimped up like that. My son was pulling them straight and lining them up. So yeah, it, it gets annoying later because I got to re kind of push them together um, when I bring the rosettes together here. So you'll see here, I, I kind of struggle a bit because yeah, my son was having a blast doing that. And of course, naturally as your child, you see something scrunched up like that, you're going to want to pull it out. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to, I use hot glue. You hot glue one side to the other, um, just making sure that the ends match up well. If they don't, you can always trim off um, an end so that it sits nicely. But yeah, you bunch them up like this. That's why when my son pulled them apart, I was like, ah, oh, brother. So you do that, get a little daub of glue. I zoomed in for you guys to see better because I realized like you can't even see anything. Um, And yeah, you should be using one of those finger protectors. I don't. I never use one of those. I pretty much burn my fingers all the time, but that's me. Um, don't do what I'm doing now. And you do, you should, I didn't, but you should be holding them down for like 10 to 15 seconds. And then once it's kind of stayed put, you flip it around to the other side and then you're going to glue another um, circle punch or whatever. Oh, and I, yeah, I forgot to mention that little jar in the beginning. I shared very quickly, um was just like scrap circles that, you know, when I have a sheet of paper I'm about to throw, I will go in there and cut out these little circles. I don't care what color it is because I'll just use it for the backside. So, yeah, 10 to 15 seconds should do it. And, yeah, like I said, wear one of those finger protectors, those silicone ones. And this is what you guys have. 
yeah really fun and i just leave this in like my stash to embellish or to layer up in projects later and i'm sharing with you guys the one on the right there is just a smidge like maybe less than a quarter inch um wider and it makes it it does make a bigger rosette so yeah here it is me trying to put it together because my son unraveled it i'm sorry i'm out of frame um he was a busy body because he's not in daycare today so he was just hanging out with mom and yeah and so you know i've done this video in multiple parts like um when i showed you the big bowl of the big bowl of um strips here that i um accordion folds i went over to the couch my kids were playing and then i was just folding them there just hanging out i never forced myself to finish anything yeah here's um a bigger punched out it's like a one inch circle um yeah it depends if you're gonna cover it, who cares what kind of paper you use to hold it together i'm not sure what i'm gonna do whether i'm gonna leave my rosettes like that when i embellish projects or cover it up but i just was like i've got a stash full of these circle punches that i needed to play with flipping it around so you see they're not perfect they're by no means perfect um and i did forget to mention when you're in the strip phase like before you've adhered these together you can sew on the edges you can use your decorative scissors um to decorate the edges but i had such a busy paper i did not i don't even care um even right now like you could get um some glitter out and yeah that those are my rosettes but um, i was gonna say yeah you can pull out some glitter and dip it in with some glue and the edges can be lined with glitter i've seen that too but yeah thanks so much for watching everyone until next time take care bye